Hey guys, happy you're back. We're going to do another review. This time it's going to be Mega Mare from the brand Orto Parisi. Orto Parisi, it's the same brand that makes Black Afghano, Nazomato, or Fantomas, or the other ones. If you want to watch those reviews, I have them on my channel. I will link them down below. Amazing perfumer, Alessandro Gualtieri. I just love Black Afghano, for example. His other works, like for example, Fantomas, go watch the review. It's a funny one. I dislike it. I almost threw up in that video. So anyway, let's go back to Mega Mare from Orto Paris. Let's just do one spray and see what's happening. Uh, it's going to be a very uh, unique scent, I'm sure, because Alessandro Gualtieri is a very eccentric guy, like uh, all his fragrances are, are very unique. Just one spray is enough. Yeah, immediately. What do I have to say about this one? Like. I'm getting some green notes, aquatic notes, watery notes, saltiness. Yeah, this is super unique. In, in some way, it's also reminding me like to like alcohol, the smell of alcohol that you are getting from, for example, a whiskey. Or for example, vodka, alcohol, like all kinds of spirits. It smells like a bad vodka. No, I'm joking. No, it smells like something alcoholic, like like an infused vodka with some kind of some kind of foul fruit. It's it's weird. I'm I'm gonna say right now it smells like a salt saltiness, oceanic. Um, I'm getting some some citruses, like for example bergamo. It's definitely there. It's full of amoxan, that I can say for sure. It has some woodiness. Um, I think it's cedar wood. But the amoxan and the musks are so, so, so heavily in, in this one. It smells like, or should I put it, like seaweed, like the ocean, like salt. If you are looking for a fragrance that will embody the sea, and saltiness go get yourself Sergio's 40 knots it's a way better fragrance than this one believe me just get a sample from Sergio 40 knots or go watch my review on that one I already did it it's better than this one yeah it, it's going to be more expensive than this one but uh, you're getting you're getting a uh, value for money in that one this this one just smells like the ocean I don't I don't see anyone paying 50 uh, 150 euros for a 50 ml bottle of, of ocean water if it was just a bit more salty, it would be like swimming in the sea and in, in, and inhaling water, like salty water. Like I'm not trying to bash this guy, Alessandro Gualtieri, but if this is perfumery, then I myself am a perfumer too. If it's just mix and match and make a fragrance, his only claim to, claim to fame is Black Afghano, to be honest. For the rest, he hasn't uh, performed that well. Duro or Pardon, those are great perfumes too. But these other works like Fantomas or this one, what is this? What, what is this supposed to be? Like, why would you want? Why, why would anyone want to smell like the sea? I'm, I'm, it's, it's like he's taking a piece to, to, to perfumery, to fragrances in general. Yeah, we understand it's niche, it's niche, but you're, you're making like salt water and you're selling it. This is like a snake oil salesman. Get the sample just for fun because y if you blind buy this, I'm sorry. Like, if you blind buy this, it it's not the wisest uh, decision. It smells like uh, seaweed, like salt, like the ocean. I'm not being happy. It's not an uplifting, up uplifting scent. It just reminds me of like being at the sea and not even on a hot on a hot day. It's, it reminds me on a cold day being at the sea. And, and and having a cold, like wearing skimpy clothes, like this, this, this just gives bad memories. It opens up just a bit now and it smells more um, like fresh breeze, oceanic, but still. I would not, ha not advise anyone to get this fragrance, just get a sample if you're really interested in this one, because to be honest, this is, um, this is a flop for me. 
and it's like uh, it's like spitting on the face of people like uh, Francisco, Jean Francois Dimashi, Jeremy Pinet. They, it's like spitting in their face because this. I'm sorry, guys, but this is not really uh, perfumery. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope uh, none of you is sad and bought a bottle already. But uh, you can still sell it online if you are um, after this review. You can go and uh, put, put it online. Somebody will buy it too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.